adjective quanto that indicates the number or the quantity of something, how many, how much, this is the meaning, is a singular and masculine form. Quanta is the feminine and singular form. Quanti, plural and masculine, and quante, plural and feminine. You're already familiar with this adjective. You um, have learned when you learn how to express the age. Remember the question, quanti anni hai? How old are you? Now, you understand why quanti is the way it is. It's masculine and plural because anni is a masculine and plural word. So quanti must agree with the noun anni. So that's why quanti and not quante or quanto or quanta. Same thing, if instead of uh, anni I have ragazze, for example, a feminine and plural noun, and I want to ask how many girls are in class, eh? I must choose the feminine plural form of the adjective. So it will be quante ragazze sono in classe. There is also another useful interrogative adjectives and is quale and the plural quali. In this case you have only one form for the singular and so one form for the plural. It works exactly like uh, grande, forte, adjectives ending in e, English e, so if they have only one form in the singular they have only one form in the plural. So quale means which and which one and is used when the answer involves a choice between two or more alternatives. For example, which book are you reading? Book is libro, so is singular and masculine, so in this case you have to choose the singular form and it will be quale. But if you use, for example, the plural form of libro, that is libri, it will become quali. If you're asking about a chair, since chair is feminine, sedia and singular, it will be quale. There is only one form in the singular, mas for masculine and feminine. But if you ask about sedie, chairs, plural, it would be quality.